Hey folks, James Abrinio coming to you from Abrinio Law, your Northern Virginia personal injury and criminal defense law firm. So you are being contacted by a criminal investigator that wants to just talk to you. They suspect that you may be involved in some criminal activity and they just want to have an opportunity to hear your side of things before they make a decision. And your question is, is should I talk to them? I got nothing to hide. Uh, I don't want to lawyer up. I don't want to make it look like I'm guilty. Shouldn't I just talk to them? Makes sense. My answer is no, you shouldn't talk to them. If investigator contacts you about potential criminal activity, my recommendation is to say to them, you're not in a position to talk. You're asserting your Fifth Amendment and you want to talk to a lawyer and in the conversation with them, you don't have to be a jerk about it. You can be polite, um, but tell them that you're going to be speaking to a lawyer and you have nothing to say uh, and you're asserting your Fifth Amendment right. Then you contact a lawyer. If you want to reach out to us, that's great. Um, and I can tell you what we'll do on the back end. If whenever I get a call from somebody and saying that investigators contacting them about potential criminal activity, I will then talk to that person to figure out what, if anything, they know about the potential allegations or in the investigation. So I'm not going in blind, but then I will affirmatively reach out to the investigator myself once I'm retained and say, Hey, I represent Joe Schmo or Jane Smith, whoever the case may be. Um, I'm representing them. I understand you're contacting them about a potential criminal investigation. I, the attorney, am just trying to gather information about what you want to talk to them about, what's going on, what are the allegations, and I'll do my best to get as much information as I can before anything happens next. Um, a lot of times investigators will tell me, well, this person is being investigated for X, Y, and Z. There's an allegation of X, Y, and Z. I just want to talk to them to get their information and, and uh, what my job there to do is to gather information. Rarely will I provide information unless there's a case where I believe that it, it, the, the facts are so obvious that providing information may cut it off at the past. But typically what I'll do is get as much information as I can so I can be aware of what may be coming down the pike, um, whether or not law enforcement is going to be swearing out a warrant or not. Uh, look, law enforcement's not uh, required to be honest with you or I. They may lie to me as well. Usually when they're talking to me, they'll be a little more forthcoming because they know that, you know, I'm not going to be played with. And at the end of the day, um, it's going to be very unusual that I'm going to agree to them talking to you. Um, it, it would be very unusual for me to say, yes, you know what? My client wants to come down and, and sit down and talk with you unless it's a unique case where um, cooperation makes a lot of sense. But typically speaking, if you're just getting called out of the blue about investigation, um, I will typically be telling law enforcement, at least at this time, we're going to be asserting our Fifth Amendment right. Let us know if there's going to be a warrant coming down. Let us know if you're going to issue a charge. And I will let them know that as I'm representing you, our job is not trying to run or flee. We'll cooperate if there's a warrant that needs to be uh, served upon you because a criminal charge is coming down uh, and we're not running. But at the end of the day, I always I, I, I fall on the sword and say, look, I'm a criminal defense attorney. Uh, my job is to serve the Fifth Amendment. Uh, unless there's something very unusual. So I'm the one asserting that on, on my client's behalf. And, and I do my best to take the blame for that. Um, now, what does that result? Does that mean that if if you are not talking to law enforcement, that there's more likely to be a charge that comes down because you're no longer co cooperating? At least in my experience, I don't believe that the charging decision by law enforcement changes based upon you not talking. In fact, I believe the only thing that may change it is if you do talk and you make incriminating statements or statements that you think are innocuous that end up linking a chain that allow them to then get to where they need to be. My viewpoint is, typically speaking, law enforcement is going to be contacting you because they've seen you as a target of a crime. They, in their mind, are already geared to charging you, and either they're trying to get more information in order to make uh, the charge against you have more leverage, or they're not quite there yet. They're not quite at the threshold to charge you, and they're hoping that they can get there. So again, my viewpoint is um, uh, if you get called by law enforcement, if they're asking you to come and sit down, put the brakes on, assert your Fifth Amendment, say that you're talking to an attorney, and then reach out to an attorney for advice. Uh, and then that attorney can guide you as the next steps about what happens. If there's going to be cooperation, that that needs to be something that's done very specifically and very intentionally 
and it's done with the the understanding from law enforcement and the prosecutor's office that there's going to be credit for that. But otherwise, typically speaking, I'm not going to be letting my clients talk to law enforcement. And again, um, you know, I think some law some attorneys will go as far as saying all law enforcement officers lie and all that. That's really beside the point as far as I'm concerned. Um, I have my own personal beliefs about law enforcement, generally speaking. But at the end of the day, my job is to prevent you providing potentially um, um, inculpating evidence, incriminating evidence that would end up putting you in a worse position than had you not talked. So, of course, this is a longer conversation if I'm representing you, but hopefully this video flags a few issues for you. Um, if you have any other questions, check out our website, www.abrinealaw.com. We've written a lot of articles and shot a lot of videos about Virginia criminal law as well as Virginia personal injury law. You can also give us a call, phone number 703-570-4180. Oh boy, you find this video useful uh, and you can reach out, but otherwise stay safe uh, and best wishes. Thanks.